you talk about how things opened up on that 76 yard touchdown run and that kind of got the offense going. Yeah, you see how big, big my eyes got? But no, but no, man, they did a great job blocking and um, I just seen the hole and hit and got north and south and um, got a TD. You realize it or not, but your miles per hour, you were 21.8. That's the fastest by any ball carrier this, this year. Still what is it slow. about you in the open field? Like, what, still too where, slow. Still too slow. Where does your speed come from? Uh, I'm from Florida, so Florida boys, it's, it's in the water, so if you're from Florida, you, go, you, you gotta have speed. You've been a part of the crazy game since you've been here. Where did this one kind of rank, and what was the feeling when you, when you saw him kind of slip and knew the game was over? Man, this is, this today was incredible. The whole atmosphere, Felt like a playoff game. The crowd was in it. They came out and packed the stadium out. Just so glad to be able to be back to that atmosphere and, you know, have that connection with the fans again. And it was it's, it's something that, you know, we'll, we'll all remember, especially on a big stage like this. It's great to have the fans out and, you know, just that, that great atmosphere to play in. Derek, you know, like you're thinking about the accomplice of the party, you're the pace you're on. You're taking a pretty serious record. What's been different the first? Few weeks of this season versus maybe the first few weeks of the season. Right? The form you got in a lot quicker. Well, them guys up front. No, uh, the credit goes to those guys up front. Um, working every day, um, pushing each other, um, fighting, you know, pushing the piles, receivers blocking tight ends, fullbacks. All the credit goes to them. I just got to go do my job. They make my job easy. So, you know, um, those guys just having the will, you know, to, you know, Want to be better each and every play, each and every week, and you know just that mentality. Coach Bear said this one. team continues to jump on your back, and today was an example. You know, in an era where there's not a lot of bell cow backs by, like yourself, how much pride do you take in, in, in that alone? Yeah, I'm about to get my girl to massage my back. They've been, no, no, I'm just kidding. But yeah, man, I just um, <clears throat> you know, just come out here, just try to be the best player I can, the best teammate I can, and you know, come out here and take advantage of my opportunities and making plays for this team. Um, you know, whatever, whatever I can do to give us a chance to win, I'm willing to do. And love this team, love this organization, love my teammates. So, you speak to maybe the resiliency. You had so many guys who got injured. You had to battle back from from being behind so many times. What was the maybe the feeling? What was the mood on the walk, on the sideline throughout the game? You up? Let's go. It's time time to go. You know. Um, you know, next, next man up, and the guys came in and did a good job. AJ really made some key catches in the second half, and you guys were kind of two-dimensional, maybe for the first time all year. How much, how good was it to, to have the run game and the pass game going together? Man, he was efficient, catching, getting up field each and every time. And, uh, and I told him that, you know, I loved it. You know, to see him back in his element, catching the ball, getting up field, making plays, is being AJ. Were you worried about him? He was just telling us how sick he's been. And he, he wasn't even sure today that he was going to be able to play. I don't know how much you talked with him about all that stuff. I just made sure we had no toilet paper for him. But no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm playing, but uh, I'm just, <laughs> no, I'm, just uh, I'm, I'm glad he was able to come out and play, you know, despite, you know, having a little, a little sickness. You know, he, he pulled through. That's how player he is, the type of person he is. And I'm um, glad he was able to come out and um, play the game and finish it. How much can you point to this game being one of the best teams in the league if this is how good we can be? We stick together and play like we like we did tonight. The only thing we get to get too caught up in into that, like Coach Saban said, that's rap that's rap poison. So take it week by week. Um, enjoy this W, um, and then you know, watch this film and see how 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 we can improve it going to the next game. So this week by week, focus on being one. No, is a win like this something that could kind of spring you t- towards the, the next? This is a tough stretch we have coming up. Yeah. Is this a win you could kind of build on? Yeah, like I said, we just don't try to get too caught up into it. We know the stretch that we have, but this one week at a time. Um, and uh, today was a, a, a tough win, a, a four-quarter battle, which we knew it was going to be. Buffalo's a solid team on all three phases. And as long as we stuck together and, um, you know, s- s- stuck with it, you know, we you know, eventually give ourselves a chance, and which we did, and the defense did a great job on that stop.